All right, so we have a motorcycle versus vehicle collision here, and we have a semi truck immediately behind the biker. Luckily, that driver is paying attention and does not run over the motorcycle. I don't believe there's any malicious intent here. The behavior of the drivers in the vehicle uh, doesn't scream any any malicious intent. So we what we start with here is it looks like the vehicle, the car, was in the lane of the bikers and clipped one of the bikers. Now, this is just me guessing. You see how it's in the lane there? The bike and the vehicle collide. And the bike basically gets caught into that bumper of the of the vehicle there, and it all just kind of comes crashing down together. Now the biker didn't slide for very long, and he wasn't um, thrown as violently as I've seen before. And the behavior of the drivers in the vehicle. Uh, it doesn't scream anything malicious. They pull over right away. They they don't come out with any sort of hostility. Um, there's nothing that screams that this was an intentional act uh, out of aggression or road rage. So I've sped this up about 600 times just so we can get the uh, immediate after effects of this incident. And within three minutes, whether it was called or just by chance, within three minutes of this accident there was already a fire truck on scene. So they might have just been driving by and they've already set up a containment and got traffic to move over into the other lane and are already working on that biker. Luckily though, it doesn't seem that the injuries are too severe. The biker seems to be able to manage to make his own way to the gurney for the ambulance and they can take him to the hospital from there.